Um, hello, my name is Rehana, and I've been working with my amazing mentor, Anne, um, to um, share my experience about public speaking. Okay. My piece is called Taking Charge. I have always been somewhat of a shy person. I'm not afraid to talk to new people, but I've always been afraid of crowds of people, even if I knew the people who made up the crowds. When I was in middle school, I had a teacher who believed that students should master, master public speaking at an early age. My class received an assignment. Write a collection of poems and recite a poem of your selection in front of your peers. I completed the assignment, but when the time came for me to recite my poem, I froze. Seeing all those eyes on me, watching me, caused me to panic. I had known my classmates for a couple of months. However, that didn't stop me from bursting into tears in front of them. My English teacher let my tears flow freely, still in front of the class, and made me finish what I had started. After that experience, my other teachers heard about my public speaking phobia and kindly took it upon themselves to help me overcome my fear. Every chance my teachers got, they put me in front of the class to speak. <laughs> I was becoming so comfortable at it that I even volunteered for the school orientation tours. After all the encouragement that my middle school teachers provided, I started high school with much more confidence. I realized after changing schools three times that I had to face my fears. I cannot give in to them. I was f more fortunate than many other students. I had support from my teachers and peers. I was afraid when high school started because actors in movies do a really impressive job of making high school seem like a tough, uncaring place. I was afraid that if I asked the wrong question, everyone would laugh at me. I was afraid that I would cry again if I got up to present my work. When I told one of my teachers about my anxiety, she suggested that I look for a quotation that would boost my confidence when I thought about it. I took her advice and found an amazing quote in the novel, Crime and Punishment. Fyodor Dostoevsky wrote that power is only given to the one who dares to reach down and take it. I think what Fyodor is saying there is that one must empower oneself in order to achieve one's goal. Only by confronting challenges and overcoming them with self-confidence can one move forward in life. After finding that quote, I participated in class discussions and raised my hand much more frequently. I often still got butterflies in my stomach. Yes, you don't only get them when your crush walks by. <laughs> Yet, it comforted me to know that I was not the only one who had trouble dealing with my day-to-day -day obstacles. Even though up to now I had a lot of practice with public speaking, I never had to speak in front of a large crowd as I'm doing today. To say that I'm scared is an understatement. <laughs> I have read this piece out loud to myself a billion times. <laughs> I've had my amazing mentor, Anne, to work with me, and I've read it in front of a group of supportive mentees like me at the Girls Right Now workshop. Although this presentation is a very challenging thing for me to do, I dare to reach and seize the opportunity that Girls Right Now is giving me. <laughs> 